I have a confession to make. Um, when I was in Washington State, I didn't go to the, well, I tried the Navy base, but they wouldn't listen to me. So I went to the Air Force base where my mom politely signed my ID card for me and told me that I had so many days to go home or she was going to send the police after me. And the Air Force backed that up when I got my ID card. And um, so when I came here, I didn't go to the Navy or the Air Force. I went to the Army <laughs> Reserve. Knowing that the Navy was right next door because um, the Navy has my paperwork. So it would kind of be a conflict of interest for me to go to the Navy knowing that. Um, Kevin Kime is the one that my mother handed her will to. And it's also got her power of attorney in it. Greg Feldman was aware of this. So Rich is in big trouble. Um, yeah. But the only person that would know that is me. Um, on top of that, I'm a good girl. I don't mess around like that. I do believe in the vows that I took, um, which is one of the reasons that I came home, because it was wrong for me to continue to do what I was doing. And the base wasn't right either. The Navy wasn't right for what they did either, because they helped. They That's collusion um, of adultery. So they're not right either. And um, they knew I had that guardianship. It didn't matter what Reno, Nevada said, because technically they weren't supposed to marry me either because they saw the guardianship in the computer system. So they were busted way before all of that. And it was not on purpose. I didn't do that on purpose in order to get them busted or to entrap them or anything like that. It just kind of went that way because I was running from abuse. Look at how that snowballs. It started out from emotional abuse and then snowballed and snowballed and snowballed. And now here we are. And that's what we need to change. Because if we would have fixed this way back then, when me and James got married, none of the rest of it would have happened. That's the problem is you got all these chiefs and not enough Indians. Everybody wants to tell everybody what to do, but nobody wants to do any footwork. And that's the problem that I have with Kendra Coots was she was so caught up in what she was doing with Ronald and Victor um, Victor uh, uh, Davies and all these other dudes that she didn't stop to think about how she was affecting me and my family. And she didn't do her job. She neglected to verify facts in my case that she was responsible to confirm even before she took my daughter that she never even bothered to to um seek the verification for that's an issue with her she swore an oath to uphold the law and to not violate the code of ethics too and what she did constitutes failure um to protect especially when she knew that she had placed my daughter into an abusive home and these guys bragged about it. They said in court that Miracle's house was inhabitable. And so they never said that about my house. So we have an issue here with these guys with the standards. They're giving kids to people in foster homes that are way below the standards of what the kids that are that are being taken are at. And that's an issue. Just to be, that's a malicious. When you see something like that going on and you know that this kid came from a better home than what they're in, in foster care, that's a problem. And that's something that we need to address. And we need to do it quickly in order to save as many kids as possible because that's how kids get abused. It's also how victims are created. When you knowingly allow people to go into homes where these guys have a history of victimizing people, I never had a history, so I don't understand where these guys got off except for Kendra being, you know, jealous because I never knew the girl. I didn't know Amber Barton like that either or Fabian Glott or any of these guys. Maybe that's the problem is that I didn't know any of them and they were mad because they put me in a position where I didn't want to know any of them either. Your attitude is everything. And these guys came at me with a bad attitude. Um, they purposely tried to provoke. And this is something we need to change within our system. We have a long way to go. I'm going to keep making my videos because I do believe that it's having an impact. And I want to be part of the positive change that we need to exp 
to get exposed so that we can do something to create a better country, not just for our sakes, but for the sake of our children, because we need to make it so that our kids have standards and they know what a standard is. If we don't, we're losing the battle with God's love. God bless America. Have a blessed day. And back the blue.